So we are done with the master nodes and load balancer. Now we have two worker nodes. We can easily configure both of them the same way and get them up and running. But we're going to take two separate approaches in configuring them. On the first worker node, we will first generate certificates for it ourselves, just like how we did for the other components in the cluster. Then get it signed by the CA and copy it over to the worker node and configure the kubelet service to use that certificate. Every time the certificate expires, we renew it by ourselves, following the same process. Now, when you have a cluster with thousands of nodes, that can be a tedious task. We want the nodes to be able to manage the certificate by themselves. So for the second worker node, we will follow a TLS bootstrap approach where we will configure the node so it can create certificates by itself and get them signed by the CA by itself and start using them by itself. And when the certificate expires, it can renew the certificates by itself. And finally, we configure queue proxy on both the nodes, which is done the usual same way. We now look at bootstrapping the worker nodes. As discussed, we will look at two approaches. The first is where we create and configure the TLS certificates ourselves. The second is where we perform a TLS bootstrap on the workers where the certificates are created and managed by the kubelet itself. In this demo, we look at the first approach. We start by generating the required certificates for the kubelet. So we will do these tasks on the master node. For this, we first create the OpenSSL config file with the worker DNS and IP in it, and then create a key and certificate signing request. We then sign the certificate using the CA key pairs. The next step is to create the kube config files. We will be pointing the kubelet to the load balancer server. So we first set the IP of the load balancer server, then generate the kube config file. Once done, we copy the certificate and kube config files to the worker nodes. The next set of tasks are to download and install the kubelet binaries and configure the kubelet services. These will be done on the worker nodes. So we start by downloading the binaries first. Once done, we create the required folder structures. We then make the binaries executable and copy the binaries to the bin folder. We then move the certificate files and kubeconfig files to the varlib Kubernetes directory. And finally, configure the service. We first create a kubelet config file where we specify different options required for, for the kubelet, such as the cluster domain, cluster DNS server, etc. And we then create the kubelet service definition file. Similarly, configure the kubelet proxy service. Once done, reload, enable, and start the service. Check the status of the service, make sure it's active. Ignore the errors related to network for now as we have not configured networking yet. Run the kube control get nodes command and ensure the worker is present. Again, ignore the not ready state, that is because networking is not configured yet.